Hey guys, my name is Jonathan Henderson with Pressure Washing Marketing Pros. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about why pressure washing businesses need multiple marketing methods more than ever. Because of countless pressure washing business owners that I talk to, I always come across a few, you know, whether they're established or they're a new pressure washing business owner, especially new ones, where they only like to, or they only want to invest into one method of, you know, marketing, or they want to get to a place where they can only invest in a one source of marketing. Like, yeah, Jonathan, I'm doing yard signs, I'm doing this, that, and the other, but I wanna to get to a place where I only have to rely on my SEO, right? Or Jonathan, you know, I would really only wanna run Google ads right now, right? I'll just always run them. My website, I don't really care about getting organic leads. I wanna get paid leads. Now, there's nothing wrong, you know, with utilizing those kind of sources for your marketing, but when you only have one source, you know, where I hear guys say, yeah, you know, I'm only using yard signs, they're cheap, they're effective, they work, but you're not really amplifying your business. So like I said, in this video, I will go over the reason why more than ever, your pressure washing business needs to have multiple marketing methods. So number one, omnipresence, right? Omnipresence, what is that? You know, people hear that word and they're like, John, that's a big word. Omnipresence basically means being on top of your customer's minds at all times. Now, let me give you an example. When you think of fast food, who do you think of? McDonald's, right? You didn't really have to think about that. It's McDonald's. Whenever you think of like burgers, people can say Wendy's, oh, Carl's Jr. No, when you think of fast food or you think of burgers, you think of McDonald's. McDonald's has omnipresence, right? And so that's how you want to be in your town. In your town, whenever people say pressure washing, you want them to think of your company, your business, right? You want to be omni, you want to have that omnipresence. Well, Jonathan, how do I build that omnipresence, right? Will you, be, will you build that omnipresence by being on multiple marketing channels, right? So when you're on Facebook, when you're on, you know, Google, when you're on, you know, yard signs, billboards, the whole nine. Now, I'm not telling you to, t to watch this video and say, Jonathan, I need to get a billboard or Jonathan said I need to get a billboard or I need to get a TV commercial. No, but you need to maximize in your budget at the current juncture where your business is at. You need to exhaust and maximize as many marketing channels as you can possible right so that you can develop that omnipresence because we all know those businesses whether there's some businesses now or maybe in the past when we were children where it was like this is kevin o'leary's car insurance right and you freaking saw his commercial you saw his billboard you saw his signs out in the street you know what i mean or you saw his his mail or he you know he sent you mail that was in your mailbox and you're like damn this dude is everywhere you know every time you thought of a particular item or you thought about whatever his niche is you thought of that company like i said earlier right so you want to develop that omnipresence because that's really going to amplify your business it helps your seo because people are going to be clicking on your website they're going to be looking you up and like i said most pressure washing business owners aren't aggressive enough when it comes to their marketing they'll say things like yeah, Jonathan, you know, if I put out too many signs, I get calls from HOA committees in the city. And I'm like, when you get those calls, you need to be even more aggressive at that point. That means you're doing something right. That means you're being noticed, right? Because some guys, like I said, they don't go aggressive enough. It's better to go more aggressive with your marketing than to not go aggressive and to be passive, right? Because when you're passive, you're not gonna make that much money. You're not gonna develop that omnipresence. You're gonna annoy the hell out of some people sometimes whenever you're aggressively marketing, but that's gonna develop, like I said, omnipresence, fast food. You know what I mean? You think of McDonald's. So that's the same way that people should think about your business. When they think about, you know, pressure washing, they need to think about your business. They need to see you on, once you get that budget, they need to see you on Facebook. They need to see you on Instagram. They need to see you on Google. They need to see your signs out there. They need to see your door hangers. They need to see your mailers, right? Because if you constantly bombard these people, you're gonna be ingrained in their mind. And omnipresence is the number one biggest thing. Second thing is going to be cost, right? So cost, more than ever, the advertising costs on Google ads, Facebook ads are skyrocketing, right? That's why the new talk of the town is TikTok, 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 right? Which I think pressure washing businesses could utilize TikTok in that kind of way because there's cheap cost. And you guys have a very satisfying type of work that you guys do, right? Something goes from super dirty to super clean. And people like watching those little like 15 second, 20 to 30 second clips, right? Cause you know, satisfaction, I've seen it on TikTok, right? And so, you know, with the advertising costs going up, you need to find out multiple marketing methods for your business to keep the cost average down for your business, right? 
And so if you're just relying on Google ads, if you're just relying on Facebook ads, if you're just relying on one source at that point, like I said, that the cost could be skyrocketing. You also want to find other ways that are cost effective that offset those other marketing costs, right? Which usually is word of mouth. But if you're not in that position where you have very good word of mouth that can offset these costs, you need to develop some. And how do you develop some? It's like I always say, you got to invest in multiple things, right? And so it brings me to my next point which is going to be, it gives your business security whenever you you know, use multiple marketing methods at that point, right? Because like I said, you don't, you don't wanna go ahead and just utilize one way of getting leads and then that gets shut off. Story time, right? I have a client right now who, before we started working with him, he was utilizing Google Ads and even though he was not running them very optimized, um, a lot of his business was coming from Google Ads. And if you're watching this video, you know who you are, man, right? I got a lot of love for you, but you know who you are. And so even with that, you know, when it came to his Google Ads account, he, he, I, think he I think in one month he did pretty good for a business that just started for four to six months, right? He did about 8K off just his Google Ads that he ran alone by himself, which us over at Pressure Washington Marketing Pros could have done way better. But that's how he was getting the majority of his leads online, right? He's getting majority of his leads online. And so guess what ended up happening? This dude ended up getting his Google ads account suspended and that's greatly hurt his business. And guess what he was doing? He was solely relying on Google ads. So now he got that kick in the ass to go ahead and implement other marketing channels into his business and investing in other marketing channels right now to keep his business afloat because he realized quickly that you can't just re you just can't you know rely on one marketing source right you just can't one day facebook can just say look we're not going to do advertising anymore one day google says the same thing even though we know that's not likely to happen they're multi-billion dollar companies they're not going to do that they love money too much but at the end of the day, you're basically putting your business in somebody's hands and you wanna take control of that. So the more marketing channels that you're on that you implement for your business, the better it's going to be for you in the long run, right? So my last point is going to be data and information. That is what you get whenever you're marketing on multiple channels or you have multiple marketing methods, right? Because you know what marketing is best for your business. For example, how do you think we found out that information that you know, in areas that have less than 100,000, you know, people in the population, Google Ads isn't the best because we tried it, we tested it with certain people. Now it does, it can still work for other areas, but we tell clients, these are the results that you can expect, right? Because we've done it over and over and over and over again for a lot of people, you know? Not saying that there's areas that do have 100,000, you know, people or less that can kill it on Google Ads, but we have that caveat because we have what? The data, we have the data. Also, when you run multiple marketing channels, right, or mark, multiple marketing methods, you get to determine you get to determine the demand of your service, right? Because we know that pressure washing is very seasonal; it has seasonality to it. So, when you're using multiple marketing methods, you can confirm whether demand is high or whether it's low, barring you have good people that are running your marketing. So, for example, let's say that you're in South Carolina, like Myrtle Beach or something like that, right? And let's say that you had a Google Ads specialist and a Facebook ad specialist doing your marketing for you. And so let's say that the Facebook ad side of things was not working that well, right? It just wasn't, you know, or let's say that the Google ad side of things was not working that well, right? Like, you know, you had gotten results in the past, but you're like, man, things dried up on this end. Also, your Facebook ads, you're seeing them, you're like, ah, these aren't really doing good either. That's an indicator that you know what, guess what, during this time period, we may need to go and pivot our strategy to do something else. We may need to put the demand in front of people's faces. We may need to hit up our customer list. We, need, we may need to put out different yard signs. We may need to advertise a different service, right? It gives you that data information to be able to pivot. Like I always say, you know, when you have options, you have power and data is power because data gives you options. Because when you have that data, you can go ahead and say, all right, then we need to pivot here. We need to do this. Okay, we know that in October, you know, gutter cleaning is one of the busy, or October is one of the busiest months for gutter cleaning. We need to go ahead and kill it on gutter cleaning. And how do we know that? We know that because we went ahead and we advertised for it last year on Facebook and, and Google. And you know what? It killed it, right? And so you wouldn't know that information if you didn't do what? If you didn't utilize that strategy. And so, you know, to conclude, I'll go over all my points. Developing omnipresence, 
Essentially, when people think of pressure washing, they need to think of your business. Just like when people think of fast food, they think of McDonald's, you know? Cost, like I said, Google Ads and Facebook ad cost are skyrocketing. And I have a link that I can show you guys in the business description talking about Google Ads, right? And so those costs are skyrocketing. You need to find some more cost-effective kind of strategies that can work for your business, depending where you're at in your business. Security, you wanna give your business some sort of security. You don't wanna just rely on one source of marketing. Like I said, you don't wanna be one suspension away from not having any customers, right? You don't wanna just be Facebook saying, I don't like your business, you can't advertise on it here anymore. And then your business is screwed. You don't want that to happen. Uh, like I said, the last one is data information. The more data, the more information that you have, the better you can predict things, the more that you can pivot, the more options that you have, because guess what? you They're tried and true. You went ahead and you tried different multiple you know, marketing methods and you know what works, what doesn't work. You have the data, you know the demand, you know all of these things. Therefore, you can run a more effective business. And so with that being said, guys, like I said, this is Jonathan with Pressure Washing Marketing Pros. We do this for over 50 pressure washing businesses when it comes to digital marketing like web design, SEO, Google Ads. So if you need help with that kind of stuff, click the button below for a free strategy call like in the description and we'd love to discuss, you know, your business's online presence and see if we would be a good fit with each other, right? But I hope this video provided you guys the value that you need and I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye.